myself Sri Lanka. Today I will discuss about uh, uh, pieces of groundnut. Okay. So first of all, I will list out the pieces. So first, most important pest in groundnut is groundnut red hairy caterpillar. Red hairy caterpillar. This is the uh, most important pest in groundnut. So first, I will discuss about red, uh, red hairy uh, caterpillar. So first, scientific name of red hairy caterpillar is here we have two species. One is Amsacta albistriga. Amsacta albistriga. And here is this is prevalent most in southern India. Then Amsacta mori. Amsacta mori. We can see this in North India. Okay. So first, uh, these uh, red hair caterpillars belongs to the order Lepidoptera. First marks of identification. Amsecta albistriga. We can see more in South India. And here uh, adult is normally adult uh, having both wings in white color. Both wings white color, four wings and hind wings. And uh, four wings having brownish streaks. Four wings having white color wings with the brown streaks and hind wings white color wings with black spots addition to these albistriga having yellow color band one yellow color band on head region as well as coastal margin of four wings coastal margin of four wings Okay, so next, Amsacta mori having red color band, red color band on head as well as coastal margin of four wings. So your main difference between Albistriga and uh, uh, mori is color of band. Okay. Color of band. So here in Albistriga we can observe yellow color band. In Mori we can observe red color band. This is the main difference between the Albistriga and uh, Amsecta Mori. And here larva is uh, reddish color. Larva is uh, reddish black color and having number of uh, hairs on the body. Hairs on body. And they having two black bands and in between the black one red band red band is enclosed by black bands okay i draw one picture for example if is if it is if you consider this as a larva here two black bands and one red color band two black bands and one red color band two black bands and one red color band like this uh, red and black bands are observed on the larva and numerous hairs are present on the larval body. Okay. And uh, if you consider the adult. Here one on the head one band and here this is a coastal margin. You can observe yellow color or red color band. And Hind wings having white color with numerous black spots in both species. Okay. So here color is different. Yellow or red. Yellow color is seen in Albistriga and red color is seen in Mori. So this is marks of identification. Next I will discuss about the symptoms of damage. So now nature of damage. Larva eat on leaves and it causes numerous holes on the leaves and it will march from one field to another field. March from one field to 
or march or migrate whatever it may be so they move from one field to another field and we can see the field uh, like grazed field grazed by cattle field is look like a dry and grazed by cattle and here pupation and oviposition pupation site is soil and oviposition oviposition site on young foliage on young foliage or on clods stones etc so please note pupation site and oviposition site these are most important okay in each and every pest please note pupation and oviposition and uh, please remember that then next i will discuss about management here in management first of all we should collect the egg masses collect the egg masses and uh, small caterpillars at early stages gregarious caterpillars then next bonafires bonafires at 7 to 11 pm before 48 hours after monsoon so after monsoon before 48 hours uh, at uh, 7 to 11 pm we should uh, burn the uh, any uh, residues materials that is called as a bona fires they will attract to that color and they will uh, uh, die into that fires die in that fires the next thing placing of jetropha jetropha ipomia shoots near buns near buns of the fields why we place the jetropha and ipomia shoots because uh, we i already told that they march from one field to another field so while marching from one field to other field they attract to these ipomia shoots and jetropha shoots and they trapped in these shoots okay then we will collect these shoots and we destroy the caterpillar then grow cowpea as a trap crop growing cowpea as a trap crop next deep plowing deep plowing to expose pupa to expose pupa because uh, pupa pupation site is soil so that's why we should uh, do deep plowing and expose the soil to the sunlight then uh, larval parasitization larval parasitization with the help of exorista civiloides exorista civiloides then digging trenches around the field trenches around the field and fill or dust with methyl parathion dust or carbonyl dust whatever uh, available methyl parathion or carbonyl dust at the rate of 250 grams per row 1 meter row length so when migrating from one field to another field they will uh, uh, fall, fall on fall inside the pit and uh, due to the methyl parathion they will die then next application of methyl parathion separately is also one of the management practice then poison bait poison baiting this is a most important uh, method of management here we use 10 is to 1 is to 1 ratio here 10 is denotes rice bran and one jaggery one kg jaggery and one liter of uh, pyrolocos or chlorypyrifos
or dimethoate whatever it may be we can use any chemical so this ratio is very important okay for poison baiting we should use 10 is to 1 is to 1 ratio in this 10 ratio 10 is indicates the rice bran 10 kg rice bran 1 kg jaggery and 1 uh, liter of phenolopause or chlorophyllopause or dimethate. We use uh, sufficient with, the, with this, use sufficient quantity of water and make them as a balls and uh, apply during evening hours. During evening hours. Because the activity of the hairy caterpillars larva during evening hours. So that's why we should apply at evening hours. So, it will control effectively. These are management for the red hairy caterpillar. Then next we will discuss about white grub. White grub, this is also important uh, pest in groundnut. So, first of all, scientific name of uh, white grub is Holotrichia consanguina. Holotrichia consanguina. Or Holotrichia serrata. Here two species are present. Then here it is belongs to order beetles cavity polyoptera. First marks of identification. These grubs are creamy white in color. Creamy white in color and having brown color head brown color head as well as it is 2 inches in length ok and uh, here these are the symptoms of uh, grub this is the marks of identification of the grubs and what are the symptoms symptoms of damage so mainly root grubs they will eat on the roots of the plants. Roots or root, they will eat on root nodules or root hairs. Okay. They will eat on the root hairs. And uh, due to the eating, due to the infestation, we can observe the dead patches of the plants. Dead patches of the plant in the plants in the field. So they mainly attack the root parts, not flowers, not leaves, okay. So they mainly feed on the roots, root nodules and root hairs, okay. They will open and they will eat the inert matter and due to that we can observe dead patches of the plants uh, when the infestation is more. So next pupation and oviposition. So pupation and oviposition both are inside the soil. And after uh, mm -hmm. emergence of the adults, they will uh, go to the uh, neem plants and they will live on the neem plants. So here management, first of all we should do, do deep plugging of the field to expose the grubs, to expose grubs to sunlight. Then next, collection of beetles from neem, acacia these are the host for the grub adult okay for the beetles so we should collect the beetles from the neem and acacia then application of carburin at the rate of 3 grams surrounding area and next thing flooding the infested area for 24 hours to kill grubs and next thing fungal pathogens fungal pathogens use using of fungal pathogens like uh, metarhizium and sopli metarhizium and sopli we are now considering this fungal pathogens for the control of the root grub. Then C treatment with chlorophyll C 
see treatment with chlorophyll pos 6 to 10 ml per liter per kg seed ok so we can also apply to apply for it uh, 10 g granules ok these are uh, management practices for the tooth drug then I will discuss important uh, bits from other uh, minor pest. So another important uh, point from the groundnut are first thing here V shaped leaf tips. V shaped chlorotic patches observed in groundnut due to leaf hopper. Empyoska kelly. Leaf hopper. Then Oil percentage and germination, germination percentages are reduced due to attack of power bug, groundnut power bug. Then mining on the leaves, mining on the leaves, blotches on the leaves, blotches zigzag mining due to Leaf minor, groundnut leaf minor, aproerima modicella. Then peanut bud necrosis. Peanut bud necrosis transmitted due to the groundnut thrips, calliotrips indicus. So these all these are also important bits from groundnut. So uh, it is overall about the groundnut pest. If you like this video, please do share, subscribe and uh, thanks for watching.